Hey everybody, uh, it's Kevin here. I wanted to say a couple of words of some things that have been on my mind about distance and strangeness um, and just how it affects our work. Um, in my backyard, we've got a, we've always been the backyard where all the neighborhood kids are welcome to come over. We've got rope swings and paths and secret places for them, for them to have their little rock fort and places for them to just can't come hang out and swing in the hammock. Of course, we haven't been able to do that for six, seven months now. And I find myself now getting irked when I see kids cut through my yard to get to each other's houses. And I'm thinking, you know, why am I suddenly getting irked? These are good kids. Why is it getting on my nerves? I don't want to become cranky old get out of my neighbor guy. Um, and it occurs to me that physical distancing has become social distancing and has made strangers out of friends and neighbors. You know, before when we would see people and we would have just small grace moments, right? Innocuous little things we'd say to each other to be polite, make small jokes, ha ha, we all laugh. It never really seemed that important to me before, but I realized that without those little moments of grace, it's just all that's left at the time someone crosses your lawn, you know? And if we're not having those kinds of connections with our neighbors, what it costs us in our personal relationship. And the reason I say that is I feel like a lot of us, I've been having the same conversation with a lot of people, that the online classes are just not the same, and we know it's just not the same, and we're doing everything we can to make them the best quality online class, English classes they can be. But you know, they don't fill the well the same way, do they? You know, before on a Thursday night, people would show up tired, and at the end of the night, they'd go home excited because they had a great class, because they got to see other people. They had those small moments of connection and grace and, and politeness. Um, you know, Zoom takes, someone said to me, Zoom takes twice the work, and it occurs to me that it gives back about 50% of the connection we're used to having. You know, and I go back to that metaphor of filling your well. If, you know, you're drawing down twice as quickly, but only refilling at half, 50% uh, of the rate of what you usually do, it's very hard to, to keep your water table where it's supposed to be. Um, and I wanted to take a minute to remind us that, yeah, what we're doing is different than it used to be, but it makes a difference. What we're doing is valuable. People are stuck on their own. You know, I've been talking to students as I reach out to them, and they're so glad that they can be in these classes. Yes, they're tired on Zoom calls. Yes, two hours of a Zoom call is a long time. Although a lot of them are asking for homework. They're glad to be in class. They're really glad to be here and be connected. Without us, they wouldn't remember the English they've learned, probably. Without us, they wouldn't be connected to each other, to us, to the community. You know, and I hesitate to say this next part, but every year when the days get shorter and the holidays come around and people are thousands of miles from home and family, it's the hardest time of year for people. And that time's coming again. So what we do is valuable. What we do is important. It's going to be even more important in the months to come. And you know what? We're getting better at it. When I go around to classes, uh, you know, at first you'd say, uh, everyone repeat elbow, and there'd be a ragged, you know, salvo of repetitions. Now people are getting better at that, right? Everyone, let's all say elbow. Elbow. People have the timing. The students have the timing. Yes, a lot of times there are kids barking in the background where you know, I'll release some advice people have given to me about how to reduce background noise. But, you know, I can see the difference we're making. I can see the progress we're making. And I just want to remind us that we're all in this together. Anything you need, please call, reach out. Happy to talk through it with you. We're happy to help. You know, we don't have those moments where we can shake hands or hug or just say those small nice things to each other. So reach out anytime you want, okay? We've lost a lot of our ways of connecting with each other. Can't imagine why, um, but we're all in this together. We've all got each other's best interests at heart and it may not always feel it as much as it used to, but what you're doing is valuable and what you're doing makes a difference. And thank you, I'm proud to be doing it with you. See you online.